Hey guys, this is Christina, um, aka Miss Strawberry Bacon. Um, I feel like I just totally did that backwards. Anyway, um, I don't know if you can tell, but I kind of did something different <laughs> to my hair. Um, yeah, I dyed it about two days ago, and I used the Ion Color Brilliance in uh, Fuchsia and Red, about two bottles of Fuchsia and one bottle of red and I just want to come on here and show the show you the results and tell you guys what I did and first things first I want to apologize because I threw away the boxes by well not on accident I threw them away on purpose because when I dye my hair it gets really really messy and gross that's why I didn't film the process I, I do have some pictures that I took but it just gets so messy and I'm a klutz so I'm like I do not want to get dye all over this camera that I love so um I have through with the boxes but I do have pictures to show you but I just want to talk to you guys about my process and you know my results and how my hair felt and all that other good stuff so starting at the beginning I went to Sally's and last month they were having a buy two get one free of like the whole ion just I think the whole line whether it was hair care hair color whatever so I decided ooh, I want to get some color because I felt impulsive and crazy and I wanted to try something different because I don't know if you can tell from like my previous videos but like my ends of my hair had gotten pretty light from like a previous hair dye job that I did so I figure um, you know I want to try some color because I felt like my hair at least on my ends were light enough to see the color then I would have like you know an interesting ombre effect going on um, a little bit about color brilliance the reason why I went for them is because um, I liked it because you didn't have to mix anything with them um, it was pretty much a ready to go in a tube you just open the tube up squeeze the color out and put it on your hair and then just go and then process um, if you want like really vibrant vibrant color you do need to bleach before but it's not necessary it will transfer color on your hair as you can see I mean like my roots they haven't been dyed before so they're still pretty black but in the sunlight they do get um, like a purplish red but in regular light they're pretty much black just because you know I haven't lightened it at all but it still does deposit some color so it gives you like tint of color but don't expect like a vibrant vibrant color if you've never dyed your hair before and if you don't lighten it so I just want to say that about the color brilliance it's a good product but if you want like vibrant color and you have dark hair you're gonna need to do something to lighten it first or um, just do what I did dye it other colors that fade away to lighter colors before you decide to do some color but pretty much um, I bought two bottles well I bought three bottles in total like I said because I figured my hair is so long I wanted to make sure that my hair would be totally totally saturated but looking back I probably could have done fine with a bottle and a half <laughs> Um, and I'll tell you the reasons why in a second. So I brought the bottles home. I didn't really do anything to prep my hair before. I didn't deep condition. I did it on dirty hair. Um, so I didn't wash it before or anything like that. I think, I don't know, it's up to you. I just was lazy so I didn't do any of that before I applied the hair color. Um, and pretty much for like the tubes, it comes in like a really, it felt like a step up from like an aluminum type um, tube and I'll insert a picture of what the tubes look like. So pretty much you just take the cap and you um, puncture the tube and you just squeeze out the color but I was getting angry and impatient because that little opening that the color is supposed to come out this product is so thick that little opening um, for the tube it just it was not doing it so I'm just like as I was pressing it just um, my just my nails because they were kind of long before I cut them um, just my nails were like puncturing the tube itself and I'm just like geez this isn't really that sturdy then I thought to myself if my nose are already puncturing this thing I could just cut off the top and just squeeze the color out um, so that's what I did I just took some scissors and I totally cut off 
the top and just made a bigger opening and oh my god the color was just so much easier to squeeze out and then when you actually do that you know you're squeezing a lot more product out of it so there's a lot of color in that little tube and three tubes was way way too much for me i have you know bra strip bra strap length hair my hair isn't the thickest but still like i said three bottles was way too much and i had a good bit left over um, when I was finished but yeah I just cut off the tops poured in the um, poured in the color in my little mixing bowl and I put a picture of that so I put the color in my mixing bowl and just I put on some gloves and then I just started applying it to my hair. I applied it to the back first because usually when I dye my hair, the back always takes forever to process. It's like the same way when I get relaxers, the back just takes forever. So I started with the back with my roots and I just went down to my ends until pretty much my whole hair was covered. I didn't really have a specific like technique. I just parted my hair, grabbed some color with my fingers and just did this number just went down the length of my hair until my whole head was saturated and i'll insert some pictures when i was finished of like applying the color all right so after i applied the color i cleaned up because <laughs> it it oof, there was it looked like i murdered some like murdered somebody in there it was it was really really messy um but yeah just cleaned up and i left left the color on for an hour because i after reading a lot of reviews a lot of people say you know 20 it, it recommends 20 to 40 minutes but they're like that that's not good leave it on um, most people that i read reviews on left it on for an hour or more i just left it on for an hour and um oh let me show you the shampoo i used to um I'll make sure i don't in the frame but um I left it on for an hour and let me show you the products I used when I washed everything out. Alright, so these are the products I used when I actually went to wash out the color from my hair. I used the Alpha G um, shampoo for damaged hair. It's not a lot left in there, but there you go. I used the shampoo. I just rinsed it once. I got all I got most of the color out and then I did my shampoo. And then you know I lathered that in and rinsed it and then I used the keratin two-minute reconstructor and it's also by Alphagy and I left this on for about um, 15 to 20 minutes not terribly long because I didn't want to you know do too much to my hair then I washed that out and did like my regular leave-ins and styling products and then I did a bantu knot Ooh, look at that Ooh, look at that color look at that color be jealous be jealous okay no don't be jealous because that's that's not good for anybody but yeah um, but I use those products and after I dye my hair my hair didn't really feel dry um, actually when I rinsed out the color it felt really really soft and I was like detangling like a beast in there I'm like oh yes yes so I didn't feel any like dryness from using the product um, I didn't feel like I lost any hair my hair didn't shed any more than usual um i would just say the you know, like it was a little dry but i don't think it's because of the dye i think it's because i didn't like do my normal wash routine um because all of, both of these are like proteins so they're gonna kind of dry out your hair and i didn't really deep condition afterwards and those probably bad but i was tired i mean dyeing your hair takes a lot of work especially the longer your hair gets it's just uh and then with that color everywhere, I was trying to like rinse and wash the tub out as I went just so nothing stained because yeah, my fingernails were pretty much stained for about a day afterwards, day or two afterwards. So yeah, I painted them so you wouldn't like tell. But yeah, that it's pretty much like my whole experience i really like that product i think i bought way too much especially after i cut off the the top of the tube but i mean i can't complain i think it gave me awesome awesome results 
um, in the sun it is so bright and lovely I love 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 my new color hopefully parents won't attack me they haven't seen it because it's been up in a bun or bantu knots I should say but I really love this color um, it's not so bright that it's you know obnoxious even in regular light the only time it's like really really bright bright is in the Sun but I mean that's how most color is but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this little update hair dye video sorry i didn't record the process but dyeing hair and filming that takes some serious skill and i definitely don't have it and i probably would have ended up with this camera in that bowl full of color so i want to thank you guys for watching if you have any questions leave them down below pointing at you no you yes you leave them down below but yeah anyway sorry um i'll see you guys in my next video bye